Islamic Sheikh Ahmed Gumi on Tuesday led a team of Islamic preachers and medical personnel to Rugan Arudo Zumbaru Okeburukun at Ayogabo Grazing Reserve, a Fulani settlement in Yagba local government area of Kigi of Kogi State to offer free medical services to them. Addressing them, Nasa Ayoba, the spokesperson of Sultan Bello Mosque, who spoke on the behalf of the delegation, urged Fulanis in the settlement to embrace Western education as well as Islamic education. He also advised them to ensure violence and shun banditry. Ayoba told them that the team was in their settlement to treat Fulanis who were in need of medical attention. Welcoming the team, Arudo Zaburu appreciated Dr. Gumi and his team for coming to the aid of the Fulanis. He also said that the Fulanis in the settlement have embarked on an educational quest in order to improve their lives. According to him, many of them have obtained both bachelor, bachelor and master's degrees. It disclosed that Ayoba Grazing Reserve has been gazetted by the state government as a reserve for herdsmen, saying we are happy for the kind gesture offered by the state government. According to him, the reserve has facilities like a borehole and herd center, noting that Sheikh Ahmed Gumi had been of the major assistance to them living at the, the reserve. Arodo Zamburu thanked Gumi and his team and urged him to build schools at the settlement. Does not uh, the settlement does not have one. Speaking on the occasion, Professor Yusuf Usma said the aim of coming to interface with them was to sensitize them on the merit of a acquiring Western education and to make sure that Fulanis ensure violence and banditry. Also speaking, Shaikh Sanusi Kutuma said, when we have people that are educated in a community, they will identify the challenges confronting that community and render help to those who are not educated. He stressed further, when other herdsmen who are carrying arms have the knowledge of the truth that a Fulani man is a peacemaker all the challenges of banditry and kidnapping will end. He commended Gumi for his effort in ensuring that peace reigns in the settlements and to see that Fulani are fully integrated into the society. Speaking further, Mamu Taku Dan Iya of Fika stressed that the importance of such visits to the community is to preach for peace and unity as part of efforts to tackle the insecurity confronting the country. While government supports this peace initiative and work with other relevant stakeholders, all these things will come to an end, he noted. According to him, the Fulani have suffered neglect for many decades. They have nothing to show and they have no means of livelihood other than grazing animals. Hmm. The military approach has not yielded result. We spent a huge amount of money to buy weapons while we can spend less amount to provide medical and social amenities to them. The members of the entourage were Mamu Taku Dan Ian Fika, the publisher of the Desert Herald newspaper, Professor Yusuf Usma uh, Sheikh Sanusi Kartuma. Nasser Eyabo, the spokesman for Southern Bello Mosque, Sheikh Nunu, and the rest of them. <laughs> the man are devil. He don't supply them arms, so them use ambulance, carry them, showing an eye, kogi people, and to supply them arms and ammunition. Now he grew do so. Ahmed Sheikh Gumi is a controversial Islamic cleric who by his action is recent times as a 
okay, I beg your pardon, a negotiator for bandit terrorists. Who now that is in Kogi? Is that the same the bandit he have gone to see and to treat the wound ones? Hmm. If you ask me now, who will I ask? These are reactions from Nigerians. Someone answered to that question, stupid. A federal government project, I beg. Hmm. So the sick Fulani cannot come out for medical care. If they come out, people we know them. They are evil face. Evil foolish people. <laughs> Nigeria military should confront Shai Gumi and kill him. Boari Fulani terrorist sponsor government can do anything about it. Follow him, trace him. Hmm. Shai Gumi is untouchable. Kill who? Do you think the federal government is not aware that it's going to visit the, I beg your pardon, the Fulanis in the bush? They are all well aware. So, if you think the federal government is not aware of what Ahmed uh, Gumi is doing, hmm, you are just missing missing it out there. Okay? My almighty God continue to guide and protect you, Gumi. And the entire Fulani S men in the forest are proud of you. And we continue to remain law abiding citizens and take no nonsense by nonsense. Hmm. What do you say? Best of the same feathers. Wonder shall never cease to end. Governor Yaya Bello is inviting trouble to Kogi State people. Kogi people should hold the governor responsible if for using Kogi as safe heaven for Fulanis. It's unfortunate. Why can't Bello give them land among his, you know, Igapiri tribe? He wants to exterminate the Okuns. God, no go green. <laughs> Amen, my sister. Someone just dropped that. So, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians concerning this. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Bye for now.